let's talk about Milo. Annika and Nikki, best friends of Ingrid, called me and said they needed to stage a cat intervention. Before Jackson came to my home, Milo was sort of an ogre. This is a nice way of putting it. Milo was beating up Ingrid's best friends, Annika and Nikki, and anyone else who came in the house. I think that Nikki had the worst relationship with Milo because he, I mean, he would hiss at everybody else, but Nikki, he would literally chase around the house. I actually would say Annika was even more fearful of Milo, but I guess he never went after her because she just stopped coming. What I need is for humans to be able to come in this house and be a positive thing for Milo. So what I'm gonna ask, one of the meals during the day, you take off, and I want one of you guys to come in and do the feeding. They had to come and feed Milo every single day. They had to work through a lot of fear. Annika, are you kidding me? She was scared. She was so scared, and I made her sit down on the floor and read uh, a magazine to Milo in a very soothing voice while he ate feet away from her. I asked her to make a homemade puzzle toy for him, and she did. She did a great job. She brought the toy in, he responded to it, he played with it. The feather toy is also incredible. I've never seen Milo so fixate on a toy as much as he has with that thing. He's obsessed with it. It's amazing. The big things that worked, first of all, the Milo manual. You have got knowledge of Milo that obviously nobody else has. I want you to write that up for these two guys. You know, he was spot on with that thing because, and not obviously that it did anything to Milo, but it totally changed the way that Annika and Nikki saw Milo. The best part about the Milo manual was that uh, Ingrid put a picture of him on the front that Annika and Nikki and all their friends had to see. This is what Milo could be, just spread out there enjoying life. And as Annika had said, it was like a light bulb for them going off. That he, It was like, oh, he's actually a pet. He's not just a wild creature in her house. The next time I come back here, we're having a party. Yes. We're gonna have people over here. Have Milo walk around the room, own the room. We gotta get this boy out and around, feeling secure in his environment, and secure with other people. The best assignment that I gave Annika and Nikki and Ingrid was to get to the point where they could throw a little get together while Milo was in the house. At the end of Jackson's visit, we did a little cocktail party and I got to actually make food for my friends, which I hadn't gotten to do in ages. She's a social person. She hadn't had people over there in years, literally years. So to be able to get Milo comfortable enough to have people over there again was a big step. And to be able to accomplish that in the end was huge. Before Jackson, my life, it was definitely more compartmentalized. My house and Milo were one section of it and going out with my friends was another section of it. Travel had all but disappeared. But after Jackson, all of those things have sort of come together again, which makes me feel like more of a whole person. I'm off to Hawaii in a week, so aloha, Milo. I'll see you when I get back. Annika, Nikki, you guys made that happen. You helped change Milo. You helped give him a better quality of life. And you now see why Ingrid loves this cat so much. And that was a piece that was missing all along. Mm -hmm.